Hello and welcome to this maths tutorial video. In this video we're going to be considering Pythagoras' theorem and what that means. So what we'll do is we'll start by considering a right angled triangle. So that is a triangle that looks something like this with a right angle here in one corner. So that angle there measures 90 degrees. What we're then going to do is label up each side. So we're going to call this side A we're going to call this side B and we're going to call this side C. Now in a right angle triangle we're going to give side C a name and that side is referred to as the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse. Uh, and it's always the longest side of a right angle triangle and it sits opposite the right angle uh, there. So you can see that this uh, right angle triangle is not touching that side, it's sitting opposite it. So this is the hypotenuse, the longest side. Now, what Pythagoras' theorem states is that if we take a uh, side A and if we draw a square on it, something that looks a bit like this, and if we take side B and draw a square on it, we get something that looks like that. And if we take side C and draw a square on it, it will look something like that. So what we've got is we've taken side A and we've effectively squared it. We've multiplied it by itself. So we've taken side A and we've times it by this length here, A. So we've ended up with A times A. So the area of this square is equal to A squared. Here we've taken this side B. We've multiplied it by another side of length the same as B. So this length here is the same as this length here and so we've done b times b to find the area which gives us an area here of b squared and then the same up here this length here is side c uh, and the length of this part here measures the same as this length here so we can refer to this as c squared the area of that there will be c squared now what pythagoras's theorem states is that if we take the area at a squared, so if we take this area here, A squared, and if we add it to the area B squared, we will end up with the area C squared, like that. So this is Pythagoras' theorem condensed into mathematical form. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And it is quite a thing of beauty. Now, this can be proven that this is true for any size of right angled triangle. We're not going to cover that in this video, but please watch out for a future video uh, in this series that does explain this, because it is really quite beautiful uh, when it does get explained. But for the time being, it's enough to know that if we take A and multiply it by itself, take B and multiply it by itself, and then add those two values together, we will get the value of C multiplied by itself. The simplest way to understand this is that if we take, uh, let A equal 3 units long and let B equal 4 units long, if we square those, 3 squared plus 4 squared will give us C squared. So 3 squared gives us 9, 4 squared is 16, so 9 plus 16 equals C squared. 9 plus 16 equals 25, so c squared has a value of 25. Now if we want to find c by itself, we need to perform the opposite function of squaring, and the opposite function of squaring is to square root the value. So what we can say is that the square root of 25 will equal c, therefore c is going to be equal to 5. 5 is the square root of 25. 5 is the number that when multiplied by itself gives you the original number. So the square root of 25 is 5, therefore c will have a value of 5. So that in a nutshell is Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, it doesn't look very exciting when it's laid out very simply like this, but actually this is a very, very important theorem in mathematics. Uh, it was known to the ancient Egyptians, it was proved by the ancient Greeks to be true, uh, and it's spawned an awful lot of very, very interesting maths, and it's the foundation of dealing with trigonometry and triangles, and uh, as we'll go on to see, uh, these things are incredibly important for uh, 
further mathematical insights and further mathematical subjects. So that is Pythagoras' theorem in a nutshell. You could actually draw this triangle out with these sides and measure it up. So you could make A equal 3 centimetres long, B equal 4 centimetres long. And then if you measured this length here, you would find that it would indeed be 5 centimetres long. You won't find any solutions to this that have smaller whole numbers than 3, 4, 5. It's the smallest uh, right angled triangle with whole number sides. Uh, but there's an infinite amount of larger triangles with uh, whole number sides. So uh, yes, I suggest that you have a, a play around with different numbers and see how the values come out. So that's Pythagoras' theorem in a nutshell. Uh, I hope this has been of value to you and I hope to see you on the next video.